Ruthless. It is essential to be up to date on happenings around you and to make that easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Fresh Light, where we bring fresh newspaper headlines to limelight. Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Alia Moye TV and Radio. Watch, like, subscribe, and make sure your notification is activated on our YouTube channel. You can also like and comment on our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. Uh, good morning to our outside out there our, our viewers are uh, still fresh light on the Yamaha TV and video I'll give you on uh, this uh, our news uh, what happened yesterday and the, uh, this morning I'm sure we must shoot all right in the studio we have the punch newspaper the Vanguard and the nation newspaper picking the first newspaper of the day which is the nation newspaper we'll be starting with the nation newspaper on the nation newspaper I have they have this leading story Tinubu petrol price won't group subsidy removal states. Survivor waits soon for Nigerians. Speaker assures. You can find this on the page 3 of the National Newspaper. Tinubu inherited terrible economic crisis, says Oshio Mole. Federal government files fresh charges against Emefele in Abuja. You can find this on page 3 of the National Newspaper. High food prices, fierce push. Inflation to 24.08%. You can find this on page 7 of the National Newspaper. Lake Kansani Adeniro is Ogun Governor, Governor's Abiodun's CPS. You can find this on the page 6 of the National Newspaper. We will end inefficiency. President labor strike threat premature. Equals to follow sanctions on Nijay Junta. We shut down NAF jet. Group claimed responsibility. And lastly, on the national newspaper, Shaibu can't destabilize my government, says Obaseki. You can find this on page 13 of the national newspaper. I'm going into the details of this page. At the first uh, story on the national newspaper is the leading story on the front line page of the national newspaper. Tinumbu petrol price won't go up, subsidy remover stays. Those hoping for a walk back on petrol subsidy withdrawal should forget it, the presidency said yesterday. Petrol price will not go up, it added, but explained that subsidy removal will not be reversed. There is no increase in price at this time. Mr. President is convinced, based on the information before him, that we can maintain current pricing without, without revising our deregulation policy by swiftly cleaning up existing inefficiencies within the mainstream and downstream petroleum sector, President just spokesperson Ajuri Gelali said. There had been hikes in pump price as market force took control since the president declared his in, in, in his inauguration address that fuel subsidy is gone. Following the rumor of the hike at the, at the weekend, there was panic buying in some places with labor threatening a national nationwide strike without notice should there be a further price adjournment. Tinumbu petrol price won't go up. Subsidy removal stays. You can take on the nation newspaper this morning for more details. Alright, still on the nation newspaper, living wage coming soon. Speaker Abbas assures Nigerians. House of Representatives Speaker Tajuddin Abbas have said Nigerians will soon get what he owed a new survival wage structure. The Speaker said the House was interested in ongoing review of the national minimum wage. He said poor wage promotes corruption in any society. Abbas admitted that lawmakers across the country have been undergoing societal pressure to provide services outside their legislative duty, especially financial request. The speaker spoke at the Independence Corrupt Practices and other related 
Offense Commission ICPC Policy Dialogue on Corruption, Social Norms and Be Behavioral Changes in Nigeria yesterday in Abuja. He said, and I quote, however, we must acknowledge that there are four other factors that influence the attitude or action of citizens to indulge in corruption. Uh, to read details of this so, uh, story, you can get the, Danish, uh, the National newspaper this morning. It has this headline, Living Wage Coming Soon, Speaker Abbas Assures Nigerians. I still on the National newspaper this morning, Tinumbu Eroded Terrible Economic Crisis, says Oshiomole. Senator Adams Oshiomole yesterday explained that explain what informed the economic policy introduced by the President Bola Tinumbu administration. He said the drastic decision became imperative to get the economy back on track. Describing the pain of the policies as the side effect of the pill being applied to remedy the situation. The Edo North Senator expressed optimistic optimism that President and his deputy, Kashim Shetima, have what it takes to reverse the trend with their unusual approach to governance. Oshemele, a former Edo State Governor, shattered with reporters after meeting with the Vice President Shetima in his office at the Presidential Villa Abuja. According to him, the painful decision taken so far were unavoidable considering how bad things were when they took over and the need to set things on the right track. Tinumbu inherited terrible economic crisis says Oshio Male. You can read for more details on it on the Nigerian newspaper this morning. Still on Nigeria economic, uh, stakeholders seek federal government intervention in food production. Stakeholders in agriculture have urged the federal government to intervene in input distribution, access to finance and markets for small farmers to enhance food production productivity. Speaking at a round table yesterday in Abuja, governor of Agricultural Development Project, Mr. Sadiq Dawari, reiterated the need for smallholders to receive training on how to utilize the resources for farming. He said, and I quote, we have the land and natural resources to produce enough food in Nigeria. And where we have the raw materials used to produce fertilizer, herbicide, among others. A bag of maize costs 65,000 Naira to 75,000 Naira. This is an embarrassment. Uh, because we have what it takes to produce and sell at a lower rate. We have millions of hectares to cultivate what we should eat. For a change, practitioners must meet policy makers halfway and match words with action to create a synergy that will follow for food security that is critical to national security and economic development. Uh, to read details of this story, you can pick the nation newspaper this morning. It has this headline, Stakeholders seek federal government's intervention in food production. Uh, from the nation newspaper this morning, we move to the Vanguard now, newspaper. And the front page of the Vanguard newspaper is uh, inflation hits 24.08% as Nigerians struggle with high food price. Pension fund investment in equi equity grows by 36% to 1.4%. Four trillion. F defies fresh twenty count charges against a mefili in Abuja. Ash economy. Buari spent ninety six percent of national income on debt. Osiamole. West African military chiefs to discuss Nigerian Niger crisis this week. We will maintain current petrol price without subsidy reversal. Tinumbu. Uh, you can take out the Vanguard newspaper uh, uh, this morning for more of the uh, headline and uh, into the details this morning. We will maintain petrol price without subsidy remove, uh, reversal. We will maintain petrol price without subsidy, subsidy reversal. This is coming from President Tinubu. Says labor strike premature. No plan for fresh petrol price hack, say NSPC. The President Bola Amatinubu yesterday said the federal government will take measure to maintain a current price of premium motor spirit, PMS, otherwise known as petrol, in the country without a reversal of its policy on subsidy removal. He also said the threat by the Nigerian Labour Congress and also to shut down the economic over 
the land for further increased floor price was premature stressing it was incumbent on all the stakeholders to maintain their peace the president assured that there will be no further increase in the price of petrol in any part of the country the nigerian national petroleum company nnpcl said late last night it has no plan to raise the pump fuel price liter to pet oh, liter of petrol this came at the kenyan government which also remover removed first subsidy at a time at a time nigeria did same uh, we introduced first subsidy to curb soaring high prices of petrol kerosene and diesel in the country through 30 days to read details of this story you can pick vanguard newspaper this morning it has this headline will we maintain petrol price without subsidy reversal this is coming from the federal government. I still on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. Our West African military chiefs to discuss Ninja crisis this week. Military chiefs from the West African bloc, ECOWAS, we met in Ghana this week to discuss possible intervention in Ninja military and political source in the region. Said yesterday. This came on a day women rights activists in Niger said they had been unable to gain access to top political officials who were detained after the coup nearly three weeks ago. This is even as U.S. Secretary of the State, Anthony Blinken, said there, there was still space for diplomacy to reverse the coup in Niger and landed President Bolatinumbu for his leadership on the crisis in Niger. The meeting on Thursday and Friday originally scheduled for last weekend but postponed came after ECOWAS leaders last week approved deployment of a, of a standby force to restore the constitutional order in Niger, which president was toppled on July 26. Their summit held in Nigeria capital Abuja last Thursday also reaffirmed the bloc preference for a diplomatic outcome. Also yesterday, women rights activists in Nigeria said they have been unable to gain access to political office officials who were detained after the mutinous soldiers ousted the African, African country's democratically elected president nearly two or three weeks ago. West African military chiefs to discuss Ninja crisis this week. You can take on the Vanguard newspaper for more details. Also on Vanguard newspaper, I'm moving to Zamfara State this morning. Matawali's aide called for governor's, uh, Governor Lawa's resignation, cite incompetence. The spokesperson to the former Zamfara State Governor, Comrade Abdullahi Abul Anas Kaura, on Wednesday called for the resignation of Zamfara State Governor Dawda Lawa, alleging that the state was currently facing turbulent times due to inept leadership. He urged Governor Lawal to promptly step down. Kara also alleged that non-indigenous individuals acting as cabals and in the controls of the state affairs, cont contro contributing to a high level of insecurity in the region. In a statement signed by him, the spokesperson also highlighted the dead poverty experienced by the people of Zamfara State. He, con he counseled the governor should take immediate action to address the escalating poverty and insecurity issues within the state. To read details of this story, you can pick the Vanguard newspaper this morning. Matawali A's calls for Governor Lawa's resignation, cite incompetence. Our last day today on the uh, on Vanguard newspaper before we go on a commercial break is um, still on the Vanguard. Nigerians must imbibe religious tolerance. Ghani Adams. The array on the Kankaufu of Yoruba land Ghani Adams yesterday urged Nigerians to be tolerant of one another religion, saying devotee of the three religion must be moderate when preaching about their beliefs. Adams who spoke on the topic importance of religion as a tool for fulfilling God's purpose on earth. During the annual Ifa festival held in Alagbule, Ogu State, warned against the use of derogatory words Adding that, adding that name, Colin B. Jetson. He said, and I quote, God, is, God in his infinite mercy has blessed humanity with various religions in order to fulfill his purpose on earth. There are various religions in the world. 
but the three prominent religions in Nigeria take central stage of our beliefs as, as a people. So there is need for devotees of the three religions to be moderate in preaching gos the gospel of their respective religions. The use of derogatory words and name calling should stop among religion practitioners. The Muslims should not describe their tradi the traditional religion believer as idol worshiper. The Christian should not be described as Kriyo, and the Muslim should not be called Imali. The three religions are useful to us in Yoruba land. Nigerians must imbibe religious tolerance. Ghani Adams. You can take on the Vanguard newspaper for more details. From here, we go to our short commercial break. When we come back, we give you our news on Punch newspaper this morning. Do stay with us. Thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those quack in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket. Thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those quack in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tau Staff Travels and Talk. We have in-depth details on how to successfully, without stress, help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent residential visa, visiting and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa? It's no big deal to us at Tau Staff Travels and Talk. Our years of experience and expertise speaks very volume for us. Let's process and secure visa for you to UK, USA and Canada within a twinkle of an eye. We offer Aj and Umrah services to our Muslim faithfuls. What are you waiting for? Consult us at number 9, South South Central Mall, Sholanke Street, behind Laroy Hotel, Abiolawe, Abiokuta. 0802-733-0900 or 0806-578- 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Tausov Travels and Bugwa la fe tu bayi to fe wo sho yi soge tu pagba mu lo nko ja House of Zion House of Zion the name i know when we talk of top notch fashion quality materials and class House of Zion let him aroju lowo toki wears Egypt and Malaysia clothing Dubai i want designer bags lori shirishi i want itele bata so ji not won fa wo original shi i want go kajo to nka wakati ojo designer sunglasses and perfumes pelu awon gbogbo nkan to birin asiko fi n gba fe lo gba ha Debe, ojo mi nse kami 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 emi ni ora emi ni omu gbogbo eyin musulumi elesin te gboge gbon pa fashion te wa ni lo jalabia ijab ati abaya lori sirisi house of zayana le o ti ri gbogbo era house of zayana wa ni 52 olorun shogo road aja saint redeem church agape parish olorun shogo abe okuta lori instagram house of zayana 08165688618 house of zayana ile itaja ta tin toju lo wa so ati nkan asara loge tin gbe ni ni yi On the Punch newspaper front page, we have Nijay Ekwa's tightening section, Juta demand power supply. Page 2 captures the story, EFCC goes after dollar speculators, CBN slashes bank allocations. Uh, you can find this on page 18 of the Punch newspaper. Federal government may sell stakes in NNPC, 19 entities. You can find this on the page 13 of the Punch newspaper, the leading, leading story. A 6.9 billion naira procurement fraud. Federal government arranged. Federal government arranged a mefile earnings Thursdays. And you can find this on page two. CBN procurement director six other to testify against ex apex bank governor. Suspended CBN governor allegedly bought hundred vehicles through employees. And you can find this on page two of the Punch newspaper. One dies, other missing as oil rigs collapse collapses in Delta. Nije ambush ni Tinubu mod soldiers nap vows to pan bandits. You can find this on page seven of the Punch newspaper. A a woman arrested for stealing friends one month old baby. You can find this on page four and five 
of the punch newspaper. And lastly, on the punch newspaper, worry it a train derails LRT suspense operation. You can find this on page 17 of the punch newspaper. Also on the punch newspaper, it has this pictorial of rigs collapse in Delta on the two pages, and we also have the pictorial of the president Tinubu Ahmed. Uh, to read details of this story, you can pick Punch newspaper this morning, and let's go into the details. At the Lodging story on the Punch newspaper this morning reads 6.9 billion naira procurement fraud, federal government arranged in Mifili, Ellis, Charles D. The federal government will on Thursday arrange the suspended suspended Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Emifili and his associates for 6.9 billion naira procurement fraud at the Federal Capital Territory High Court, Maitama, Abuja. The case is for arrangement and mentioned. Emifili will be arranged alongside a female CBN employee, Saadatu Yaru, and a company, April, April 161, Investment Limited on 20 charges of procurement fraud, conspiracy and conferring corrupt advance advantages on his associates. A Mefele who had been in detention since he was suspended from office on June 9 by President Bola Tinumbu was accused of, of conferring corruption, corrupt advantages on Yaru, a director in April 1616 Investment Limited. The offence is contrary to Section 19 of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Act 2000. If convicted, a mefile may be sentenced to five years imprisonment without, uh, without an option of a fine. The section read, and I quote, any public officer who use his office or position to, to gravity or confer any corruption or unfair advantage upon himself or any relation or associate of the public officer or any other public officer shall be guilty of any offense and shall on conviction be liable to imprisonment for five years without any option. 6.9 billion naira procurement fraud. Federal government arranged a mefili early Thursday. You can read details of this on the Punch newspaper this morning. <laughs> Still on the punch newspaper, moving to Abia State, picking this metro news. Abia woman arrested for stealing friends to one month old baby. A 28 year old woman, Ada Eze Lawrence, is currently in custody of the Abia State Police Command for allegedly stealing her friends to one month and two days old baby boy. According to the report, Lawrence gained the trust of the baby's mother. Oyinyechi Owuji and became her friend before she committed the crime. The suspect, a hairstylist, was said to be a schoolmate of Owuji's elder sister through whom she gained access to her. She reportedly requested that they celebrate the baby's birth and absconded with the boy during the celebration. She, the case was reported to the police following uh, she was arrested in her hideout. The state's Police Public Relations Officer ASP Chioma Chinaka in a statement said credible intelligence led to the suspect arrest on Monday. The statement read on Thursday, on, on August 14, 2023, around 4 p.m., the Abia State Police Special Weapons and Tactics Team Ab Abba, received credible information and effective comprehended one Adaise Lawrence of Amal Bona Road of Osisikwaku Street in Aba. During the interrogation, the accused confessed to abducting the child from Oyebuchi Owuji's residence situated at 5 Kriku Road of Nigerian Bureau, Aba. So to read details of this metro news, you can pick the punch newspaper this morning. Abia woman arrested for stealing friends one month old baby. Our punch newspaper punches this out this morning. I'll still on the punch newspaper this morning. AFCC goes after dollar speculators. CBN slashes banks allocations. Deposit bank deposits money banks are battling dollar shortage after the Central Bank of Nigeria slashes slashed their foreign exchange allocation. The punch has lined. Multiple banks officials told one of our correspondents they have been unable to meet their customers' forex demand for school fees. 
personal travel allowance among others. The gap between demand and supply has become worsened. We, on, we only we only the CBN will intervene and supply more forex soon, a top official of a, of a tier one bank told the point. For some weeks now, we have we have not got allocation. Sometimes they delay in giving another bank's official said. Other sources from bank also confirmed to the point that CBN has drastically reduced their forex allocation. The CBN on Monday said it would introduce measures to curb the Nera light. However, the Nera gains at the parallel market on Tuesday after Central Bank said it will intervene in continued depreciation of local currency. On Monday, while speaking at the briefing, on Monday, while speaking after briefing President Bolatinimbo on what the bank was doing to halt the Naira slide, the acting governor, CBN, for La Shonubi said the fluctuation in the parallel market was not solely driven by economic forces but also speculative demand. CBN goes after dollar speculators. CBN EFCC goes after dollar speculators. CBN slashes bank allocation. You can go to Punch News about to read the details of this news this morning. Moving back to Ogun State, fear of kidnappers grips Ogun community over bad road. Resident traders and commuters who ply the Iberia Kodoma Uko Road in Abel Okuta, North Local Government Area of Ogun State, have come on the government to help fix their road because it now puts them at the mercy of kidnappers. The resident who spoke with the Punch Metro on Tuesday in separation interviews lamented that the bad state of the road has given kidnappers room to operate freely. They noted the road had also crumbled business activities in the area of any many home owners were deserting their homes for their own accessible communities. Um, Punch correspondent who visited the area observed the part of the road hosting uh, the Ogun State Water Corporation, Arakonga, the Arakonga Forest Reserve, and some private companies were in a deplorable state, which several damaged portions along the stretch of the road. A resident and the city, as Abuye told our correspondent, that there were fears that kidnappers had lurking around the road. She said, and I quote, the bad state of the road is affecting our businesses and sales of our goods have dropped because, because the road was in good condition, drivers of trucks, trippers, and cars often came to this area to wash their cars. But since the road got bad, we are not making sales like before. Uh, to read details of this story, you can pick the Punch newspaper this morning. Fear of kidnappers grips Ogun community over bad roads. From that end, or oh, we'll draw the curtains this morning on Fresh Light on Aliyamoye TV and Radio. Do stay with us tomorrow again on Fresh, fresh Light on Aliyamoye TV Radio. I mean, surely, Mashur. And I am Riska Sumilaya. Thanks for joining. Say goodbye. <laughs>